One of the things that we want learners to be very quick and fluent with is um, knowing for small numbers what other two numbers add together to get that number. And we call these bonds and today we're going to look for the, at the bonds for the number 5 and the bonds for the number 10 because those are quite important numbers. So um, let's just immediately do this for 5 and here we're looking at the bonds for the number 5 and we put it, arrange it in this sort of 5 frame because it makes it quite easy to see. Like here you can see you've got no counters and so you need 5. And of course the related fact to that is if you've got 5 you need 0. Um, and similarly 1 you need 4 to make 5. 4 with 1, 2 with 3, and 3 with 2. In a similar way, we want to look at the bonds for the number 10. And we use this little 10 frame picture because, again, it makes it very easy to see what you have and what is missing. So like we see here, we've, if we've got no counters, we need 10 to fill up the frame. And the related fact, of course, is if we had 10 counters, we need nothing to fill up the frame. So in 0, it goes with 10, 10 with 0. Similarly, 1 with 9 and 9 with 1, 2 with 8, 8 with 2. 3 with 7 and 7 with 3. If we have 4 counters, we need 6 more. And of course, if we have 6 counters, we need 4 more to make 10 and 5 and 5. So these are all our bonds and if, if we're 10 and for 5. And you need to know these completely fluently. If you don't, get on top of that as quickly as you can. Knowing the bonds, particularly the bonds to 10 fluently, really helps with getting quick in calculations for addition going forward.